I'm Daniel Nunnally, and you're watching Nashville Unsigned. What up, everybody? Welcome back to Nashville Unsigned. We are hanging out on, and I'll say it again, the blue couch and not the red couch. Because we're at Nito, powered by Airbnb, new partners of ours with the Marlboro man himself, <laughs> Daniel Nunnally. What's up, we guys? just gave him that title, guys. No. <laughs> I mean, with, with those boots, that b- belt buckle, and that jacket, man, I, I really think you slayed the Marlboro man. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> so tell us how you, how you got into Nashville. So I was born in Memphis, um, and I, I lived in Mississippi for a while, and I started playing guitar down there. Um, and then I moved up to Northwest Tennessee, and then I finally moved to Murfreesboro. And, um, what, what? Oh, yeah, Murfreesboro. <laughs> Gotta love that place. Dirty borough. The borough. Um, yeah, so I was down there for about a year and a half, going to MTSU, and then I actually... I took a break and then ended up just not going back. Um, I realized it was much better for me personally to not be there. Um, and I've been living in Nashville and just doing the music thing and getting to meet some really sweet people. And the community here is awesome. So, Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I, I know a handful of people that are just lovingly open arms, like accepting mm. you. I know you played a show with one of our friends, Joe Co. And oh, yeah. Charlotte Sands Absolutely. from our alumni, Dude, which awesome. loves, she loves what you're doing, but she's a songwriter to her core. So she gives yeah. mad respect to dope songwriters. So, mm. and that's another way we found out about you. And yeah. I was like, dang, okay, he's coming in from all angles. We got to talk to Daniel. <laughs> Not only, geez. So you have a whole live album coming out too I soon. Do, yeah. And this is just remakes of what you already have out, but it's live and it's with Kirkwood live. Yeah. Right? So it's, uh, it's four tracks, three or four tracks. Um, and yeah, it's just acoustic, just me and my guitar. Um, we recorded it over at this, it's just like a white room and, uh, they shot it super, super high res, super like high quality. And, um, there's some of my favorite songs I've ever written and, um, just super stripped. So, it's completely focused on like the the words and everything. So I love that. I love for that. that. Yeah. And they did. Is it like an outside venue? So Kirkwood actually has grown a lot. Um, it used to be at a house, the Kirkwood House, and they had That's shows cool. there, and they had some stuff outside. Um, and they did Kirkwood Live for a while, and now they're rebooting it, and they're um, they're doing it super like I mean in six K and like dude Kirkwood, you out there killing yeah. it. I'm out in Murfreesboro. Killing We're gonna have to have coffee. Shout out to <laughs> Garrett and McAdoo. Yeah, that's they're, cool. They're that's great so cool. people. Yeah. So when um can, like spring ish, late spring, early summer is yeah. when we can expect expect that live album. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And this will be like a live visual album too, because it's all video. Yeah, right? so they'll yeah we'll put out. The videos and the the songs cool. at the same time, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So we're going to change directions a tad bit, and we want to know a little bit about you outside of music. Okay. Tell us something weird or random about yourself that not a lot of people know okay. about you. So this, a lot of people that I grew up with um, and my family obviously knows this. Um, a lot of people actually don't know that I have a twin brother. Yeah. Identical? We're, uh, we're fraternal. Okay. But I think it's even funnier because we don't look anything alike. Really? He's in the Air Force and in Nebraska. And yeah, he's, uh, he's awesome. So tell but us the weirdest opposite. twin moment you ever had. Oh, man. I don't know. Because we're so like different, like we don't, we don't have those like, oh, something's going on. Yeah. Are you good? Like, but did you, but, when you were young, do you think you could tap we into young, emotions? When we were like super tight and then yeah. like all throughout like, you know, elementary, middle, high school, we didn't get along too well just yeah. because we were just so different that oh, we were yeah. like, we can't be the same. <laughs> you know, we don't, because like when you're twins, like people are going to associate. You know and they I mean? want you to be exactly yeah, the same. So, yeah, it's so, <laughs> Your it's parents so want you to so be we're like, exactly no, the same. We're, we're so different, I swear. So, <laughs> But now we get along like super well. Oh, we, we that's catch cool. up on the phone What's all his the name? Time and his name is David. David. David, we see you. We, we see, see you. David. <laughs> <What's up>? <laughs> <laughs> so um, our last question is wild. It's W-H-Y-L-D. So what have you learned, dude? Um, give us your like most valuable learning lesson that, you know, you, is your gift to some up and comers. Yeah. Um, this just goes for more than, uh, than just music, but 
think it's just important to like love on the people that you interact with and be like completely there and make sure that they feel seen like when you meet them and like whenever you see them out and stuff and I just I feel like um a lot of times in Nashville and and a lot of times in like the music industry like people are trying to get like an upper like and Nashville's pretty supportive I'm not gonna lie um but it's like a lot of times people are trying to use you for yeah, something. Yeah, like stair steps. So like you're like, a stair just step. Just love today. on people and like, you know, see what you can do for them and just um, don't try and get something out of everybody, you know? Just like love on the people you're around and make sure that you're not um, trying to get ahead by bringing somebody else down, you know? But you make a really valid point on that, man. Community and love and the industry needs this so hard oh, right yeah, now. For sure. Especially um, the indie scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, the best example of that I've ever seen real quick it was whenever I was I actually drive for Postmates to pay the bills it's great hey it. dude and, uh, hustling as an independent gotta artist you gotta hustle you, you got don't want to know and I do legal things for money but I go. will wear <laughs> a Care Bear costume at a 12 year old's birthday party and they won't know it's me like I will do that for $35 an hour I'm not gonna lie <laughs> there you go yeah but I was I was delivering to this person one time and it was just like a tiny order I knocked on the door and it was a party happening and I walked in, I was like, did somebody order this, you know? And this girl's like, yeah. And then all these people started pulling me and started talking to me. Yo, where are you from? Like, blah, blah, blah. Aww. And this girl's like, do you want a bottle of wine? And I was like, <laughs> like, I'm literally What kind like, of question is that? Complete strangers. And this girl, like, for no reason, other than the fact that I just, like, literally existed, gave me, a, like, a bottle <laughs> of wine. And I was just like, this is literally the purest form of, like, Aww. loving on people, you know? Like, don't love on them because you might get, like, a Something. deal from them or you might get, like, some kind of content from them. Just, like, love on people because they exist. And, like, that was shown to me, like, very recently. And I was just like, God, dude, this Man, is so rich. Man, what know? a cool experience. Shout uh, out to those people. You know who you dude, are. Yeah. She's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. That's so cool. Daniel, man, I am so pleased and honored that you were able to sit on our couch. Thank you so much for being here. Where can everybody find you, like on social media, website, all that good stuff? I'm just at Daniel Nunnally, and uh, the last name is kind of difficult to spell. I'm sure it'll be yeah, somewhere on there. Yeah, I spelled it wrong a few times. Why don't you, why don't you hit it? Hit, hit them with it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> hit them with it. Yeah, it's three N's and three E's, and then one of the other letters. So Nunnally, like N-U-N-N-E-L-E-E. There you go. Yeah. So that yep. probably made it even more Nunnally. complicated. N-U-N-N-E-L-E-E. -E. Yeah, you got Boom. it. Boom. Yeah. So just, with that, there you with go. that, we're out of here because it really doesn't get any better than that. Sorry, guys. I got a name, right? There it is. <laughs> Daniel Nunnally, thank you so much, man, for being here. You are you a rock, rock star. Aww. Marlboro, man. <laughs> we're out. Hasty around this trying to go before the sun goes down. One more day of going through the most. So pack up your suitcase, dear I'm just trying to go before the sun goes down One more day of going through